Hi friends, in this session we are studying about the cross multiplication method in linear equations. So in this session we will study about how to get the solutions of uh, linear equations or the simultaneous equations of two variables through cross multiplication method. So here I have written some general form of equations. Uh, so let us see uh, a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0. This is our equation number 1. And the equation 2 is a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. This is our equation number 2. So we see how we solve this through the cross multiplication method. So here you see under this uh, I have written x over something and y over and my 1 over. So if uh, the this equation is equal to the 0 then we have to put here 1 otherwise if the constant term on the other side of these variable terms so then we have to put minus 1 instead of 1. So uh, for this under x what we have to write in the denominator of this x in the denominator of this uh, x we have to write down the coefficient of y and the constant terms. So because under x we are writing, so we don't have to write out, uh, write down the coefficient of x. So on the right side you see there is b1. So we will write down here b1. Just a moment. I change the color first. So it is b1. And this b1 I am writing down only coefficient, then b2. Here I am writing down b2. Here c1. And C2. So in this way I have to write down under y I have to write down in the denominator y we have to write down except this uh, y terms we have to write down the right side of this is C1. So first of all we have to write down C1 and here C2 and then we see A1 and A2. So in this way we have to write down this uh, the right side we have to take the uh, term of right side first then uh, other terms remaining term we have to take uh, under v we have to write down uh, v for the constants uh, for constant the b1 and b2 are the left side and if we go to the right side a1 over 8 a1 and a2 so we write here a1 and a2 and after that you see b1 and b2 so we write here b1 and b2 so in this way first of all we have to write this down then what we have to do we have to cross multiply this so it is called the cross multiplication method we have to multiply b1 into b2 and subtract b2 minus c1 from it the same way we have to do follow the same thing in all the terms so i do it now so look at here b1 into c2 we have to take b1 into c2 minus b2 into c1 it is b2 into c1 got it here you see c1 into a2 c1 into a2 minus c2 into a1 Here you see a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1. So this we have got. Now we know that uh, this x1 over this one, y1 over this and 1 over these are all are equal. All the fractions are equal. So x1 over this equal to 1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So we could write in this way. x over b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to 1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Now we cross multiply this to the right side here with 1. So we get here x is equal to b1 c2 minus b2 c1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so this we have got here similarly we can do it for uh, y also so we know that y 
over c1 a2 minus c2 a1 this is y over and 1 over we know that already a1 b2 minus a2 v1 so we again cross multiply this so we get here y is equal to c2 sorry c1 a2 minus c2 a1 over a1 b2 minus a2 b1 so in this way we have got this uh, uh, two cross multiplication way we have got these two formula here so just a moment so these are the way to find out the solution for this so this is the concept of the cross multiplication method now let i tell you one question uh, relating to this we get how we get the solution for that Now we see this one example 3x plus y is equal to 2 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 5. So let us start this uh, solution. Uh, we know that we have to write down x over then y over then because the constant terms on the other side of this uh, variable terms so we have to write here instead of 1 minus 1 over okay it's very easy. We have to write under x the coefficient of y here the coefficient of y is 1 look at here uh, there is no coefficient it means it's 1 so 1 minus 3 so we have to write here 1 minus 3 and 2 5 we have to write 2 5 here here is for this y the first we will write 2 and 5 here the right side we have to write first then 3 2 and here for minus 1 uh, for this we have to write 3 2 and this is 1 minus 3 now we have to cross multiply this so we will multiply 1 into 5 and minus 3 into 2 we multiply 2 into 2 and 5 into 3 we multiply 3 into minus 3 and 2 into 1 so we see yeah. So x over 5 into 1 minus minus 3 into 2 minus 3 into 2 is equal to y over 2 into 2 minus 5 into 3 is equal to minus 1 over 3 into minus 3 minus 2 into 1 now we simplify this so we simplify this x over 5 1 times 5 minus into minus plus 3 2 times 6 is equal to y over you see 2 into 2 4 and minus 5 into 3 15 so we get here minus 1 over minus plus minus 3 into 3 9 minus 2 see what happens now so x over I change the color here x over 5 plus 6 11 it is y over 4 minus 15 minus 11 and here you see minus 1 over minus 11 minus 9 minus 2 is minus 11 so now x over 11 is equal to minus 1 or minus and minus will element 1 over 11 so we simplify this x is equal to 11 over 11 so x is equal to 1 so here for y y is equal to so y upon minus 11 is equal to 1 over 11 here so y is equal to minus 11 over 11 so therefore y is equal to minus 1 so we have got the answer here the answer is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 1 so in this way we easily find out the answer through this cross multiplication method it is the easiest method out of 3 
So this is the example we have solved here or in this way we could easily find out the uh, numerical of uh, linear equations simultaneous linear equations of two variables th through this cross multiplication method it's very pretty and easy method